Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the Content Aware Scale Resize option in Photoshop to remove the middle out of an image, a little bit different to how the Crop Tool works. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can resize an image and remove content from around the middle of the image. You'll already be familiar with cropping an image, which allows you to make a selection over the portion of the image that you want to keep. But in some instances, what you want to get rid of is in the middle of the image, and that's an entirely different situation. In that situation, you'll need to use a new tool that was new in Photoshop CS4, and it's called Content Aware Resizing. To get started with that, you'll want to convert the background layer of your image into a regular layer. So I'm going to double click on this and click OK because we're going to resize this and we're going to remove some of the content from the middle of the layer and it needs to be a regular layer to do so. If you're working on an image that's been edited, you should flatten it at this stage and work on a flattened version. The Content Aware Resizing feature is available on the Edit menu, so choose Edit and then Content Aware Scale. You'll see that there are some options here, and the one that you need to be really careful of is this little person up here, and you want to make sure that they're flush and they're not dark, because if the little symbol is flush with the toolbar, that means that people protection is on and Photoshop will attempt to identify people in the image and it will protect them from being removed. Now all you need to do is to start dragging in from either side of the image. In this case, we're removing some of the content in the middle and we're looking to make this a square image, but you could drag down from the top or the bottom as well. And as I resize, Photoshop is working out what data from the middle of this image is not so important and it's just removing it. As you get really small, so we're getting very close to being a square image here, you'll see that you'll get a little bit of distortion. This is not a perfect system, but it's pretty good for removing content from the image and allowing you to get the essence of the image itself. Now let's just get rid of that right now and let's see the difference if we had had that little person icon pushed in. And now let's see what happens. Well, in this case, you can see that the person is totally destroyed. So Photoshop is not protecting any content. It's just trying to get a smaller beach scene. So you can see that that is a very valuable icon to look out for, making sure that it is flush with the toolbar so it's not depressed when you actually drag on the sides. Well, let's go from this side this time. And you'll see that the result is pretty much the same. And we could get down here to an image which was pretty much square. If I'm happy with the change, I'm just going to click to select it. And let's have a look in the history panel to see what we've got. This is the original image and this is the one that is content aware scaled or resized. Now there is another way that you can use to protect details that you want to keep. Let's go back to the original image and in this case we'd be making a selection around details that we want to be sure that we're going to protect. In this case, I'm going to drag around this shape here because I'm saying to Photoshop, I really want you to keep this area here. And now I'm going to hold Shift as I drag with the lasso tool to add this area to that selection. So I'm just making a selection around the very details that I want to retain in this Content Aware Scaling process. Once I have the areas selected I want to retain, I'm going to choose Select and then Save Selection. And I'm going to save this selection to an area called Protect This. You can call it whatever you like, but this is just a channel that I have created that has my protection around it. Now I'm going to deselect my selection by choosing Select and Deselect or Control and D. 
you can see that protect this is a channel this is my channels palette and I've saved my selection and it's saved as an alpha channel now let's go back to the content aware scale edit content aware scale from the protect drop down list you'll see now that our alpha channel is available here and I'm going to select it so I'm saying to Photoshop protect the area that is in the selection protect this in the alpha channel and now as I content aware scale those areas will be totally protected in the scaling and so because we've isolated this area and said we want to protect it for Photoshop to be able to get rid of some of the image it's starting to eat away now at the coastline and that was less the case beforehand and we could get down now to a square image and when I'm happy with the result I'm just going to click the check mark now I might need to go in now and make a few edits for example with the clone tool or the spot healing brush tool to clean up little bits that have been damaged but by being careful about selecting the areas that I did want to keep I've been able to convert a rectangular image into a square one using the new content aware feature in Photoshop and of course to finish this off what I want to do is to come in and crop the image so that it's cropped to its new size. I'm Helen Bradley, thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.